you know, I, you often think that there should be other um, mean or avenues or political means of solving these issues, uh, whether it's the WTO, trade disputes, those kinds of things. All of those take a significant amount of time. Uh, it seems to have been the, the, the practice of this administration to, you know, call people out on the table up front and negotiate later. Maybe that tactic will work, but believe me, it's a very uncomfortable time for those of us that are involved. Mr. Hill, what is an American president supposed to do? I mean, the Chinese have been stealing intellectual property from this country for years. There's, there's, yeah. there's no quarrel or arguing about that. Yeah. What, what other things could a president do? I think there's lots of options other than a trade war. Yeah. Uh, well, give and, me some examples. Well, to give an example uh, direct to trade, um, the reason you negotiate over years and come to agreement on a trade agreement is so you have dispute resolution, you have rules of the game, you have standards in which everybody abides to with penalties, the WTO, um, you know, NAFTA. There are dispute settlement mechanisms there if you have grievances or problems, and so you don't blow it up and renege on your agreement uh, to create a new one, actually you go back to the original agreement and go through the process. And, and I really think a little bit of a mistake that may have been made, I mean, <laughs> agriculture has been the number one sector of this economy that's helped offset the trade deficit. And yet we become an easy target. 